さあ六号この手を取るんだわがままボディのサキュバスにナンバーテンユーラーイヌヤシャ She may not have the same grandstanding as the likes of Kagome or Kikyo, but this little demon has still managed to hold onto her own share of popularity as the years have gone by. Oh, you naughty, naughty girl. You shattered the jewel. One of the first of Naraku's henchmen to pose a real threat to Inuyasha, Yura's mastery of her own killer hair is only matched by her flirtatious attitude. They'll be back any minute. Only we won't let them run away this time, will we? <laughs> It's easy to see why one might be distracted when going toe to toe with her, especially with an outfit as revealing as that. Once you two here have been wrapped up, I'll go and find the rest for myself. Number nine, Meliscula. The Seven Deadly Sins. On the positive side of things, this member of the Ten Commandments is really, really handy when it comes to her tongue. <laughs> On the negative side, she's likely to swallow your soul, and if that fails, she'll turn herself into a giant snake and tear you to pieces. In spite of her small frame, Meliscula is certainly a troublemaker, one that can snare and use the dead to her liking. Though, we're pretty sure there's still plenty out there who would love to snuggle up with her inside her cocoon of darkness. Number 8, Ameri. Welcome to Demon School, Iruma-kun. There's a thin line between being adorable and drop-dead enticing, and Ameri casually walks it every day. <laughs> On the frisky side of things, she's a demon fox girl who can kick the crap out of just about anybody, complete with an intimidating height difference and absolute authority from her position as student council president. But then that's beautifully contradicted by her adoration of cutesy manga. She's a sweet soul deep down, one who effortlessly falls for Iruma's innocent charm right from the get go. Lucky lad. <laughs> Number 7, Scanty and Knee Socks. Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. Forget about those angels. We're all in on these devilish sisters who love to stir up trouble wherever they go. <laughs> Oddly enough, even with their revealing attire, scarlet skin, and sinful personas, both Scanty and Nisox have far more grace and a sense of manners when compared to the smut train that is their angelic counterparts. And that's kind of hot. <laughs> Guess we just have a weakness for demon spawns with fabulous vernacular who also know how to rock the second circle of hell. <laughs> Number 6, Eve Reese, Redo of Healer. Look, we feel as dirty as you do, but we still have to pay our respects to a fabulous demon girl, no matter which anime she crawled out from. As a candidate for the next Demon Lord, Eve certainly has the magical chops to be a powerful foe. It just so happens she's extremely self-conscious about her delectable frame. Even amongst all of Keiaru's, well, less than modest conquest, Eve still stands out as an adorable winged death machine. <laughs> Number 5, Ariel. So I'm a spider, so what? If a literal spider isekaya can be cute, then so can said spider isekaya trapped inside the body of a flamboyant yet enticing demon lord. <laughs> While devastatingly strong by herself, Ariel's view on life slowly starts to shift as her mind becomes infected with some of Kumoko's essence. <laughs> As a result, while she is still open to the occasional rampage, all that free-spirited goodness starts to affect her personality, making her a million times more relatable. Must be weird for Komoko to be fighting herself. Number 4, Mio Naruse, the testament of Sister New Devil. I mean, if you have to go this route, then why not invest in the next Demon Lord and all of her flaming lewdness? 
お前を守るって決めたんだ。While very much playing the shy card, Mio is one of Echi Anime's more prominent devils, especially with all the fun she gets up to with Basara on a daily basis. Not that we can blame him, given how much of a firecracker she can be when push comes to shove. Forget about being burned by her magic, just a casual glance will have you in need of an ice bath. Number 3. Haine. Combatants will be dispatched. Rare is the waifu who is supposed to be a villain, yet continuously earns our sympathy whilst remaining utterly dazzling. The newest and arguably hottest best girl on the block, all Haine wants to do is to be treated seriously as a demon, and yet, thanks to the hilariously lewd antics of Agent Six, the only thing she suffers is one humiliation after another, which, as you might expect, just keeps adding to her adorability meter. <laughs> that blush is something truly out of this world. We demand more. Number 2, Rias Gremory, High School DD. You knew she'd have to show up here sooner or later. Come on! Very much the poster girl when it comes to all things anime, sexy, and demon, Rias is the unequivocal head of the hierarchy when it comes to Issei's ever expanding harem. <laughs> Which is pretty impressive since the rest of his demon lovers aren't slackers when it comes to both looks and power. With her destruction magic wiping out everything before her, and her abundant assets bringing them right back to life, Rias has cemented herself as the one thing worth braving eternal damnation for. Number 1, Albedo. Overlord. You can look, lads, just make sure you don't touch, otherwise, she'll tear your head off. <laughs> the devoted and obsessive servant of Bone Daddy Eins, Albedo has no problem slaughtering for the praise of her beloved master. <laughs> Not that it does anything to diminish just how elegant her fallen angel design is. She's also no stranger to lust either, since her feelings for her master can get so explosive at times that, yeah, let's just say Eins should really get on that before she explodes and takes the world with her. Enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.